I have a girlfriend with Kane Ohe tattooed across her chest. If you're watching, hi Shane from Kane Ohe. Few places on Oahu evoke that kind of pride. I'd say Waimanalo is one, another one is Waianae. But this place is a place of unique, lush beauty. It's small town roots with a resistance to change because of what it is. It's down home with laid back luxury. Welcome to Kane Ohe. Kane Ohe is comprised of 40 different neighborhoods. You will know when it is for you. <gasps> no way! Are you gonna flap your wings? <laughs> First time holding a goat. Kane Ohe is God's country. As with all of our neighborhood videos, you'll expect us to talk about location and climate, neighborhoods, homes, prices, things to do, what it's really like to live in Kaneohe, who should live here, who shouldn't live here. We'll eat some food and grab a little bit of history. If you have a favorite memory of Kaneohe, please leave us a comment. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with us. We're here at the Pali Lookout where it's crazy windy, but it's also where you get the best view of Kaneohe. Kaneohe is located on the windward side of Oahu, and although it borders Kailua, Kailua and Kaneohe couldn't be more different, except for the fact that you have to drive through a tunnel to get here if you're coming from Honolulu. Now, now, Kaneohe is located about 10 miles east of the Honolulu International Airport. The Marine Corps base is also on the far east and smack dab in the middle of Kailua and Kaneohe. The weather here is pretty damp. It gets a lot of rain as it's located at the base of the majestic and lush Ko'olau mountain range. Kind of reminds me of Kauai. You know, it's like a jungle. Like I said, it's a bit more damp and that's really no surprise why my Kauai clients gravitate here. Although Kaneohe is generally not close to Honolulu or Pearl Harbor or Hickam, it's generally an easy commute and things really start to slow down when you get here. And in addition to that, driving to Kaneohe, Kaneohe on the H3 is a mesmerizing and beautiful drive, but you gotta make sure that you keep your eyes on the road because it is an elevated freeway. And I mean, you can risk driving off of it. And I'm joking, but I'm not joking. That literally just happened. Some guy followed his GPS and drove into the ocean. Someone drove their vehicle into the Honokohau small boat harbor on the big island. Bruh. Kaneohe is a place that's rich with history. Here we are right now at the old Pali Road. Now back in 1795, King Kamehameha I came here to fight his cousin Kalani Kupule, and he pushed his army all the way into the back of the Nu'uanu Valley up to the Pali Lookout. And it said that it was the bloodiest battle. It was actually called the Battle of Nu'uanu. 400 warriors fell to their death. And it's said today that those warriors still haunt the place and that you can hear their screams in the winds at night. Now local people know that you don't drive over the Pali with pork or you risk your car being stalled. And I know people that this has happened to, it's crazy. Kaneohe is a place where you get chicken skin and you feel goosebumps and that feeling has a word, it's called mana. Mana is a word that describes feeling a power or a presence beyond yourself. Here in Kaneohe, it's a place that was once of, of great bounty, lots of water, fish ponds, taro. This entire ahupua'a or division of land from the mountain to the sea was self-sustainable. There's also a fish pond that still exists today, one of the largest at 80 acres in Heeia. people live here making it the sixth largest city on Oahu just behind Kailua but it feels much more vast and spread out to me and that could be because about a million tourists visit Kailua every year whereas we don't have the tourism like that here. We're here at Windward Mall. Windward Mall has a great food court. There used to be a Macy's. There isn't one anymore. Hopefully something will be coming in here soon but they do have a Target coming which is always very exciting. If you are really a nature lover and you like to get outside there's some wonderful hikes including 
including the Crouching Lion. If you drive over to Ka'a'awa, there's other hikes in this near surrounding Kaneohe area. There also used to be the Stairway to Heaven, which is now closed. It's quite controversial, but at one point it was very popular. As you make your way to the North Shore, you really get a glimpse of what this laid back lifestyle is all about with these little towns along the way like Kahalu'u, Waiahole, Kualoa. Actually, you might know Kualoa Ranch. That's where Jurassic Park was filmed. There's some really fun things there if you want to. It's more of a tourist thing. We locals don't really go, but we do appreciate that it's there and that movies have all been made there. Now, right next to Kualoa Ranch is this place, the Waiahole Poi Factory in Waiahole. And in our Eva Beach video, I talked a little bit about poi and what an important food source it is to Hawaiians. And I'm hungry and I'm ready for some poi myself. Let's go eat. Yum. I am excited. This is very much a Hawaii thing. So my husband and I always grab a plate lunch on Sundays after church in Waimanalo, but I hardly ever get to come here to the sweet lady of Waiahole or the Waiahole Poi Factory. That's the dessert. We're gonna have that sweet lady dessert in a moment. But this is lau lau. Lau lau is traditionally made with pork and it's wrapped in luau leaf and it's baked underground in what's called an emu. And then this of course is poi. I'm gonna take a bite already. Mm. And then this is lomi salmon, which is tomatoes, green onions, and salmon. And then I have chili pepper water that I'm gonna put on my lau lau. My aunties and uncles call it chili pepper water, but you know me, I pronounce everything. Hi again, I'm back. So I want to get a sweet lady with two spoons because Yasu's going to have a bite. So you grew up in Hakipu'u. No. No, where'd you grow up? I, I'm Molokai. Oh, Molokai. Yeah. You say Molokai, not Molokai. Yeah, Molokai, Molokai. And then how long have you lived in Kaneohe? Um, five years. Oh, okay, that's yeah. long enough. Yeah. And Hakipu'u, what's that like? It's country. Country. Yeah, you like country, is that why you moved there? Yeah. Molokai is country. Molokai is country, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I find a lot of outer island people like Kaneohe. Yeah. This is the sweet lady of Waiahole. It has halpia or coconut ice cream on the top. And underneath, it's a warm kulolo. Kulolo is a Hawaiian dessert that's made with poi. It's sticky, it's sweet, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. I'm excited. Kaneohe is comprised of 40 different neighborhoods, ranging from ones that were built in the 1930s all the way up to homes that have been built today, more newer homes. Now these homes can be more plantation style, feel a little bit more country, or they can go all the way up to very luxurious homes that sit on the water with multi-million dollar price tags. Most single family homes start around $900,000 for about a thousand square feet. Now of these 40 different neighborhoods, we're gonna feature three in this video, but in our description box, we have an interactive map with all of the neighborhoods as well as the current listings for sale. Currently, we're in a country neighborhood known as Ahui Manu or Temple Valley. If you like a more rural feel, you'll like Ahui Manu and Temple Valley, especially being situated here at the base of the epic Ko'olau Mountains. Now in this neighborhood, you can also acquire acreage. This property in particular is one that's very special. Homes here range in price from 900,000 up to $2 million. Our client Heather is home and she's nice enough to show us around this incredible property. Let's go take a look. It's broken again. So this road is all nice, but on the, out, the outside road, so that's the avocado tree. Wow. That's ulu, we have mac, mac nut. Look at you, I want to do goat yoga. Oh, look at Oreo, you know. Hi babies. I hear about this goat yoga, which is crazy. It's a thing, like you do yoga and the goats climb on you and it's supposed to be like this therapeutic thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so cute. Hi, Oreo. First time holding a goat. It's like a dog. It's like better than a dog. It's not even squirming. Oh, you're so cute. I can? It won't run away? No. You sure? Uh, I want a goat now. Oh, hi, sweetie. I've never held a chicken. Hi, you sweetie. Are you gonna flap your wings? Oh. <laughs> 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 I think 
Is that a tombstone? Oh, wow. From the 1800s. Wow. 1819, yeah. So, has my art title has King Kamehameha listed on our title. <gasps> King Kamehameha? I'm not joking. No way. I'm not joking. So King Kamehameha took Kaneohe as a spoil of war mm -hmm. because he like beat Kalani Kupule and then said, well, Kaneohe is mine. Mm -hmm. And um, wow, so he is on your title. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> and where did you grow up? I'm Maui. Oh, Maui. See, outer island people love Kaneohe. But Ryan, my husband is from Wamanawa. Okay. So he wanted to come down. And see, I, I say like, Kaneohe is God's country, and there's like two other places that say that, and it's Waimanalo people and Waianae people, and Outer Island people. <laughs> This is a neighborhood called Keapuka, and it's very close to the H3, the Pali, and the Like Like Highway. It's very typical of a house that you'll find in Kaneohe, especially one that's close to Kaneohe Town and Windward Mall. We're gonna go inside and check it out. This home was built in 1963. It was renovated in 2022. So if you're looking for a new house, you're generally not going to find it unless you find one that was renovated like this one, or if you buy an older home and renovate it yourself. A more popular Kaneohe neighborhood is Haiku Plantation. Now within Haiku, there's a few different neighborhoods as well as townhomes, but Haiku Plantation itself is gated and there you can find homes that are on an acre or more. They cost two million to two and a half million dollars. Very lush, very green and very spread out. And then in contrast to the acreage and all of the green would be homes on the ocean in the Kaneohe Bay area. Now while this isn't beach like Kailua, you still get the benefits of using the ocean. Kayaking, stand up paddling, if you're a boater, this is a neighborhood that you'll want to look to. Now these exceptional properties range in price from one and a half million dollars up to over five million dollars. So who loves Kaneohe? Anybody that's a nature lover, if you're a gardener, if you like farming, if you like the Pacific Northwest, if you're a Jurassic Park enthusiast, try convincing Kaneohe people that there's anywhere better on Oahu to live, you're gonna lose. And then who doesn't wanna live in Kaneohe? People who like to surf, cause there's not really a beach here. However, the North Shore really isn't that far away. Also, if you like an urban, more stimulating uh, city life, you're not gonna like living here. If you're into big box chain stores like Costco, you're not gonna find that here as well. It really is much more local. One thing that's important is that a lot of my clients from the Outer Islands, I said it earlier, but they really gravitate towards Kaneohe. Also, my clients that typically tell me, oh, we really wanna live in Honolulu, and then if they get priced out or don't find what they're looking for, typically they'll say, you know what, Myla, we'll look at Kaneohe. Kaneohe is one of those places that you will know when it is for you. If you wanna look at anything in Kaneohe and wanna learn more about this neighborhood, please get in touch with us, we'd love to help.